We are here. President here. accounted for. I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones. Still no video. That is but soon we, to come back. But we are Adventures of the Black Nerds. Yes, we are. And consistency is the key. Is the key. And we are here. As long as we're here. We're here, people. We're, we're here. here. Thank you here. for tuning in. Thank you for uh, riding with us. Uh, I really do me. appreciate it. I, I really, really appreciate the patience. Uh, we Actually, we got a lot of stuff to catch up on. A lot Hell of stuff yeah, to talk about. Um, first, I said we start off with Apex Legends, dog. Okay. The, the new craze. Now, I understand why, bro. You know what? I played it, and let me tell you immediately the little things that made me immediately love the game a thousand times more. Mm -hmm. That bumper. That bumper where I get to let people know where shit is. Yeah. And it calls it out. Hey, there's a level two. Uh, I only played like five matches and got trashed in each one of them. I think oh. I got one kill. Uh -huh. But uh, but it just, that little tweak, if they did nothing else other than copy everybody else's Battle Royale format and just added that, that made... Those little nuances. <laughs> it's the little shit that makes all the difference. Mm-hmm. Now I don't have to guess. Now when you drop that when you drop that level 2 for a level 3 item and your partner only has gray or tier 1 armor, you now know, hey, there's a level 2 up here and I can go and get it. Exactly. And it's marked and it's pinged. Then you, you get to exactly cancel where to the go. Ping. Yes. Oh my god. And then there's no fall damage. Yeah, I, I think they they had to do that. I mean, well, yeah, cause because it's Titanfall. Yeah, it's, the, yeah, but not only that, you telling me, oh, I can, I can become a mirage. Mm -hmm. I, I can, I can, you, all the, with these abilities. Imagine falling from a roof and dying. I would have been. I'd be bad. So I was like, I'd yeah, be you, mad at the world. Yeah. So people kept saying, oh, because it's Titanfall. I'm like, man, bump that. Imagine you being able to call out a second you. Yeah, <laughs> and you fall yeah. off the map, and you. But I did see one guy. One guy. They were they were flying into the map, and they overshot this bridge they were trying to land at, and they literally took them off the map. And as they go to land, they land in the water and they just die <laughs> instantly. Oh. <laughs> the whole team. They were mad. I remember seeing it. That, that oh, was pretty funny. That that's a big for those who don't know. There are some major differences between Apex Legends. And every other battle royale, you know, they've streamlined it. They've taken all the best things from every battle royale, but on top of that, they added in some very little key components that make it stand out to a whole new level. Yeah, and and it's just fresh. Yep, this is fresh. So, start. but so they, this. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. So I'm just trying to give people background for those who haven't played it. Yeah. So it's three man squads. It's made by the same people. It's squads who made only, too, right? Yeah, it's squads only. You cannot jump in. Not that I know of. Yeah, you cannot jump in solo. And it's made by the same company that made Titanfall one and two respawn. Respawn. This was actually supposed to be Titanfall three, but they scrapped it for this battle royale program, which, in my opinion, is perfect because now they're going to generate a bunch of money. And now they're going to probably come out with a better version of whatever of Titanfall 3 or whatever else they plan on coming yeah. out with. But my point is, let me get to the things that I love most about it. The key features. The jump, jump master. You get to either you or the other two members of your party. Somebody will become jump master and you can it'll automatically make you go wherever they go. Mm -hmm. So now we don't have that whole issue of, oh, place where you guys want to go. Yeah. Where are we landed? <laughs> no, you pick a jump master because I never like doing it because I'm new to the game and I'm trash. Yeah. So I don't want that responsibility of going to the worst place ever and everybody sending me hate mail. <laughs> but so. I once again I only played five matches and I fell in love. It was a great mind numbing experience. But um you follow you can branch off if you want to, but automatically you're following whoever is the jump master. Exactly. That jump master, that's a huge aspect. Then the marking ability that we talked about earlier. So being able to Oh, go ahead. I well what I was about to cut you off and say was Pretty much, you. I'm able to, and like I said, I haven't played it. I've only I watched. I probably watched like 30 hours of people playing uh, Apex Legend. Um, pretty much, we can play this whole game without talking to each other. 
Yes. We can play a whole match yes. without saying anything to each other. You can run with randoms and it's not a bad experience. Actually, I've had a better experience with randoms on this game, on Apex Legends, than any other game. These this dude revived me, took me to the or took my banner, which is the way you grab a um, fallen in a uh, fallen friendly, and took me to the revive station, revived me, pointed me out to different weapons, and then we made it to like top ten. See? One thing I can say, every time I've played, we've made it to the top 12 or something like that. Mm. Like, I wasn't complete trash, so, but I'm not trash. So speak on some of the abilities. Okay, so that I'm still confused as hell by. Okay. Only only one I felt super comfortable with, with was uh, the medic. Um, I forgot her name. Black girl. Oh, and the variety of the characters is yeah. off the charts. It It's a melting pot of everything from... It's it's like Overwatch mm -hmm. in that in that regard. See, okay. and even in that, they once again you take the very the variety from Overwatch, you take the gameplay of Battle Royale, you take the colorful and skins and whatnot from you know you, they're piecing from everything yeah. and truly making this work. But um, I was playing with the medic, and um, she has the ability to her special is you call down a defensive like airstrike and it comes down and it's full of items of high ranking items like purple which i believe is tier three armor uh med kits and whatnot and then she has a, a drone that heals people whoever it's near it okay. um and um and then i use the like the the telekinesis chick which i had no idea what i was doing because you know me i don't read directions i just jump in you and start playing shit. i just do shit <laughs> um and it, it's not smart it is a team oriented game, and you should pick who you're good with. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, see, it, 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 from how it was explained to me, it was explained that yeah, if if you have a certain play style, there's a character for you. Yes, which is true. Yeah, so very true. I haven't, I have not played it because I'm over the battle royale. I'm I'm over it. I'm over right. like I I enjoy watching it more. This is the same thing with Call of Duty. Got At you. one point, I used to love playing Call of Duty. Then I got over playing Call of Duty, but enjoyed watching the competitive scene and other people play it. Got uh, you. I may jump, dib, and dab back into it every so often, but as for trying to play it, sometimes I just get a little burnt out of Battle Royale because it just seems like the same. I had to explain this. It was a full-on explanation of why I was burnt out of Battle Royale games. But, um, yeah, man, um, I'm, I'm happy for Apex Legends. I'm happy Me for too. Respawn. People forget uh, the people who created Respawn was technically Infinity Ward that created mm -hmm. some of your favorite Call of Duty games. And uh, remember, they had left, and that's when Sludgehammer came in the mix. But um, I'm, I'm happy for them because they have adopted this, this the way gaming should be nowadays. These free-to-play games is the way to go. But we yeah. all understand why they will never be adopted. As of right now, they won't be adopted by, you know, these bigger, badder developers and big old... Um, I guess, yeah, I guess it would be say it would say the, the developers and even publishers because they want their money now. They don't want their yeah. money on the back end. They want their money right now. So And, and you, know, you know what's so scary about it? is they nickel and dime us with microtransactions after a $60 fee. Yeah. Could you imagine what it would be like if all the big developers and um, publishers put out nothing but free to play? You, We think we're getting bare bones games without DLC Shit, now. We wouldn't get a damn thing. Man. Oh, start menu. Put five, put five quarters in to get past start menu. You're going to get to 75% of your loading screen, then it's going to say insert credit card now. <laughs> yeah, and it, I, it's it's I I'm scared for that because I, I talk I, as much as I talk about free to play being the way, I'm scared for it because yeah. that opens up a whole realm of bullshit of people of it being Hold on for What's up? Um, that's true. When I was laying next to Josiah, when he said something he said, Baba. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm shooting. I'm talking to your uncle right now. So go back downstairs. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. That's fine, baby. That's fine. 
sorry, da daddy time kicked in. Just turn the TV off and or turn the TV on and turn the light off, okay? Sorry, uh, that people. I'm no, back. that's all good, man. I am back, but uh, I was saying, uh, oh, I was saying that I'm scared for free to play games, uh, because of the things that it can, um, the things that could happen from it. And I'm talking about, we, we talk about um, microtransaction now. Imagine what they yeah. would do, what, what some people would do to get the edge over other people's games. Now that people are being able to buy guns, being yeah. able to buy abilities, being able to yeah. buy a different type of suit for your characters. Like, be, like look, at, look at Warframe. Like, Warframe, oh, yeah. All of... There's something special about each Warframe, and there's millions of them. I'm, I'm probably over exaggerating, but there's a shit there's ton a bunch of, of there's a bunch of, of Warframes. Warframes, and you literally can instead of going to farm the, the items for it, you can just buy them whenever you want. Imagine, imagine Apex Legend like that. Imagine hey, Fortnite like that. Hey, you know, you know what's creepy? The more I think about it the more we're pushing on a whether it's virtual reality or augmented reality or even if it's just complete gaming think about it think about this way because i was walking in the mall this weekend this is i'm going off on a tangent folks i i was walking in the mall this weekend and i was telling my wife i was like look look at what the what the next step is going to be the next step in the mall and in the shopping experience is going to be an augmented reality or a VR shopping experience. Mm. Imagine you instead of going to Amazon.com, you go to Amazon VR. It sound hey. it don't sound a hey, it don't sound that far. It don't off. sound that far off, and it don't sound that crazy. No, it does not. Because I put on a headset, snap whether it's a cheap one where you put your phone in, or whether you actually got an Oculus Rift, or you got the Google Hololens, whatever. You put it on. And you digitally walk into a store, and all it is is a bunch of items curated for you based on your search history, and blah 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 blah. But the point I was making is that's the next step we're getting to, and I think once they figured, once they truly acknowledge that, think about our gaming experience. Oh, hey, um, you're. Our avatars. Look, what we're already doing it. Yeah. Our avatars on Xbox. Your PlayStation in. Your remember the whole PlayStation Home thing. Yeah. Or was it? Um. It was you, PlayStation Home. You're right. Okay. We're already prepped for that. Yeah. We're people, ready for it. People take so much time and spend money on their avatar that nobody really even looks at except them. Nobody cares what your avatar looks like. Nobody, nobody cares. cares about their eye but, colors, their cheekbone structure. Bro, <laughs> people spend money on it. Mm -hmm. So knowing that we'll do that, why not take it to that step further? Yeah. Why not? All of a sudden, my wardrobe online is better than my real life wardrobe. Because it, it doesn't be. matter. It <laughs> no. And think about it. All that, all I'm saying is we're moving farther and further into Ready Player One, Sword Art Online. Mm -hmm. Like these things we're moving far, closer and closer to. And what if it's microtransactions that turns into the fuel to push us there? But you, okay. <laughs> if, or, if, but are you okay with, would you be no, okay with that? <laughs> no, I'm terrified. I'm absolutely scared, but I want augmented reality to that scale so bad <laughs> yeah because i man it would because obviously every game would have to have some type of currency yes right some type of rewarded currency for completing whatever so yes. you imagine being able to oh yeah you're in let's just use ready player one as the example yeah. you're in this world and you can earn currency by doing certain things but it's on like the le the level scale of like nothing yeah and but if you it's all slave if, wages, if you, if you put that credit card on there and you drop a grand. She, you know, what I'm saying? you man, you live turn around and life. get the catalyst. And <laughs> Ain't no, but that's what I'm saying. Like it, it's just trippy how we're closer and closer to getting to that. Like I, I always say I want to live long enough to experience and fully drive into full dive technology. Yeah. Ever since I seen Sword Art Online, ever since I heard about that and got into that. That's been a big goal for my of of mine because just the idea of being able to take a few hours out of your day and completely feel. Do you know? I, I was just talking to E. Shout out to E. 
I was just talking to him and I told him, I was like, look, man, I would get in shape today. Oh, if shit. you told if you told me my real life abilities and stats affected how I game, <laughs> everybody would be in shape. Thank you. Everybody oh, that bro, plays you get for the really buff no, I got hell. a PPP tournament coming up. <laughs> I need to let them have it. Yeah, see, I'm. I'm like I said, I'm more on the RPG, the uh, the the Ready Player One scale. So yeah, you could be some super fat kid, but your character that. But see, that's the 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 thing with RPG. It would have to stay that because I feel like once you take that out of it, once you start, oh yeah, if in real life, if you can't run a full three, your character can't. Run. <laughs> once you do that, uh, you'll probably lose some people because th- that's not RPG. You're not real. Yeah. You're not. You're not playing. A this fantasy role type character of what you want it to be like, even though it's proven that most people create their their character based off of them, which I do all the time. Yeah, if my character looks like me. Okay. I even pick. I even make my character fat if I can. Yeah, you gonna see a heavyweight dude with a bow and arrow. Yeah, I'm see, I'm, you off, pissing you off. No, no, but but <laughs> <laughs> his fat ass keeps shooting me. <laughs> Can't even hide behind cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See. Um. Yeah. I mean, I th- I think sitting here talking about that, it it's it scares me because yeah. it, it gets to that point. It's over, dog. It, it's me, over. But let me tell you the reason the reason I bring this up, and then you're actually bringing up a great segue into the next topic. Mm-hmm. But um. Yes, there's. I feel like no matter what, there's going to be things that are still video games. Yeah. But if you like, I was just telling my coworkers, I I work, I push papers for a living. You know, now trying to get specific, mm-hmm. I can do my job from my computer from where I'm sitting right now. If yeah. I really, if I had a scanner and a printer, I could do my job from here. Yeah. Or if I just had a, a tablet and whatever. Yeah. But my Shit, point, all my, that stuff is portable now. Dude. It's all portable now. I don't even actually need a printer and scanner. I'm talking old school. Yeah. But, uh, but my point is knowing that I don't have to physically be at work to do my job, and that's for a lot of people's jobs nowadays. Not everyone, but a good portion of jobs that office jobs you don't need to be at work. Yeah, it would be cheaper for the company. Imagine if they opened up a server. And you put on your uh, headset. All you got to do is put on your headset. There, I'm pretty sure there's companies and stuff out there. Well, like well yeah, they do it, but they don't do the whole VR thing. Of course. They just, no. they just do the whole what we're doing right now. Yeah. The, the program we're using right now is set up for people to work on. Yeah. Um, but my point is, I really think this is that great leap. Yeah. I don't think VR games will fully take off until we get to that point so 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 free to play is the key i think free to play with the level with the healthy micro transactions or not even free to play micro transactions i think my uh micro transactions because if you can convince the uh the stockholders hey we will make money hand over fist for a very long time to come outside of an initial 60 if we make a good game, because we've done it. I've dumped money into a game that I of didn't course. pay for uh, because course. I enjoyed it. Yes. I was like, I would have bought this. Let me buy that much in currency for how much I would pay for the game. Yeah. I've done that. See, I'm, what what intrigues me by that is the fact that you literally would be playing one game. Yes. You would be playing, <coughs> excuse me, one game. Yep. But... Your character will have a multitude of different options of different side missions or side activities to do. The perfect example of this would be like, like your divisions. We're you know segueing into what we're yeah. about to talk about. Your divisions or anthems, where you have the options to do this mission here, to do this mission here. Or I feel like killing some actual real people who are playing as a character. So I'm going to go run some skirmish or some, you know, PvP type stuff or go into the dead zone uh, or even using destiny. Hey, I want to kill enemies. I want to test, get my gun skill right. So I go to Earth and kill some dregs. 
Then, oh, man, it's now it's time for me to jump in the crucible. Oh, then I jump into the crucible. Now I'm playing against real people who are controlling that. It's you'll be playing one game. Now, my question for you is, are you ready for, the, for that? Well, you know I'm me, ready. Are you ready for one game let as me tell, one character? Let me tell you, if I have the ability to fully dive into that, where I'm there, mm -hmm. mentally I'm there, visually 100% I'm there. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> no questions asked. Because I could totally I already know I'm gonna dump. Like I already explained to my wife that we're just gonna have to have periods of time where you just don't talk to me. <laughs> like we two just hours don't talk. a day. Two hours a day. Cause that's and that's actually ah, that's another point before we jump into the division that I want to end off with. The only way that full dive technology is really going to take in my like now that i really think about it is once it's so commonplace that even people who don't play video games utilize it mm, okay because think about this right now your family would choke you out if they came in your game room and you and the rig completely gone in the world and you <laughs> but dude do you how how can you watch the kids? How can you still do anything else? So until you put them we in the world with you, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. So until we get to a point where almost everything around you can function, like you remember that whole Hololens presentation, yeah, uh, from years ago. That the dude walked in, he was wearing his Hololens. He was like, "Oh, what time is it?" Took a clock, threw it up on a wall. Oh, took, yeah, took I remember Netflix, that. Okay. threw it on a wall. Now, next thing you know, let me jump into the game world. Oh, you got an alert. Boop, boop, boop. He, Little he, camera he, pops up, <laughs> and your wife is sitting there cussing you out, telling you you need to order, you need to order something from Amazon VR, VR so she could have it. <laughs> Amazon you VR. Can, you, you can borderline live your life. You don't have to move, oh, dog. There you go. That's the only way I think VR will truly take off because look at most gamers who want a game. We probably got a good, I think the average our age has 10 to 15 hours max a week. A week. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree. And with that's that, me. And, that, and I'm going to be honest, that's on the high end. And when I say like us, I mean families, married, yeah. you know, like anybody in that category, you're not watching Netflix so you can game. You're missing all type of TV so you can gain. Exactly. It's one or the other. Yeah. And that's because I know that's exactly what I live. Um, but yeah, bro, the division two. The division two. So uh oh. Can you hear me? Everything good? Yeah, I can hear you. Check? Good. There we good. go. I almost plugged the plug cord out. Oh, oh. see? Breaking shit. Um, oh. Yeah, so the division two. Um it's when is it set to release again? Uh, I want to say it comes out March. 15th. Looking it up right now. I could be wrong. Yep, March fifteenth. That's when it's okay. set to be released. Um. All right. So we both played Division One uh, when it came out. And, we played a lot of it. Uh, we played a lot of it. Uh, I felt like the Division One was a breath of fresh air, especially yeah. coming from the uh, Destiny, and uh, it the Division One offered uh, a. a a play style in gaming that I like. I like having builds. I hype, I like building things around uh, things that go hand in hand with my loadout. So if I'm able to do 28% damage with the light machine gun, I'm going to carry a light machine gun. And then everything else is going to, this is just a, an example. It's going yeah, to benefit me in that way. Well, now they... They're coming out with the Division 2 and or and a couple things that the Division 2 has that the Division 1 didn't have. The Division 2 is going to have uh, bigger raids now. So potentially it's going to have eight player raids. Now, I'm, I'm, I know you aren't a huge raider when it comes to raiding. I am because the mechanics on beating bosses uh, 
uh, doing something, doing in-game activity is what I love. And and in speaking of in-game activity, the Division One did not have a true like end game. It didn't have a, like a the last activity to do that said, "Hey, you completed this game." It now, literally just kept going. Yeah, it just kept going. The now, pro- disclaimer: neither one of us played all the DLC. We we did not. I I. Purposely walked away from the division one because oh yeah uh, I the reason I the, I purposely walked away from the division one because I felt like I was chasing something and it was just being pulled away from me. Every, ah, go ahead. Oh, I, every time I got back on to try to catch up, there was no catching up. Every time I got back on, I missed the opportunity to get this weapon or missed the opportunity to do this certain activity. It was pulled it just felt like the the target kept getting pulled further and further away um not only that uh a couple of the updates i think that's what you were about to say came out and it completely ruined the experience all in all for me so i stopped playing because of that specific reason i just didn't think it was it wasn't worth my time especially when i know how competitive i can get when it comes to gaming if I can't catch up, if I can't be as strong as that person, this person, or whatever, and I'm just inst- like literally, I was in the dark zone, just insta dying. Rather, and be- sometimes it was because of cheaters, but I was literally walking out of the safe house and dying, it and yeah. it was that was it. <laughs> there was no going into the dark zone to get uh, gear. There was no going into the dark zone to to go uh, extract stuff. No, there was no way I was getting out of the dark zone. So I stopped playing it for that specific reason. Now, now for me, the reason it's very similar and it's basically the same thing. Now, what ended up happening was the they changed a bunch of currencies last minute. Because the currency that we were able to use in the dark zone became null and void. Mm -hmm. Um, Then another big issue was they took what used to take four hours to get and turned it into 10. Yeah. And once again, you're talking to a group of people who have a solid 10 to 15 hours a week. So if in that 10 to 15 hours a week, I can't remotely keep up. I'm not trying to keep up with the sweaties. And sweaties are people who try hard for those who don't know. I'm not trying to keep up with the tryhards. I'm trying to keep up with the middle of the pack. And when he says we were getting instant killed, he's not lying. There was no, it was almost like, why am I here? Yeah. What am I doing? Fun. It wasn't fun. And they want, and let me tell you, my fear from what I experienced, I already ran into that. Hmm. I hopped in the dark zone and there was dudes out there murdering. And at first, I'm like, okay, I want to say they added a system where it's people are relatively equal. Yeah. Like your gear does not. I Which think is, they, 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 I was look reading up something on the dark zone, and it says something like, if you wanted to go rogue, you you basically signal it first, and then uh-huh. you're rogue. So it's yeah. not like remember you have to shoot somebody, f- do a certain amount of damage for you to go rogue. Because remember, sometimes we were accidentally going rogue, and uh, we didn't and mean it to. Would, it would ruin the whole experience. He was like, "Hey, and remember, we get, we used to get mad at some people in the team because like, we would have good gear, team. exactly. Yeah. And then we can't extract and doing all this other stuff. So, uh, um, hey, but no, but the thing that was happening. Oh, my bad. You were about to say what you read. My bad. Oh well, no, yeah, I, I was. It was just that. No, you can. Okay. Hey, no. So I um. I was running into dudes. Here it is. My guns are 500 damage. Dam- uh, DPM, damage per se- uh, DPS, damage per second. I'm getting killed by dudes with 7,000 yeah, no, DPS. Man. This is a beta <laughs> that's been out for three three to four days max. It's a private How? beta. <laughs> How? And I'm just sitting there. All their gear is gold and purple. Yeah, I'm happy with my little funky blues. And so I- the tears, just to give people a heads up for those who don't understand what I'm talking about, because we're just talking as if everybody knows what we're talking about. It goes gray, green, blue, um, purple, purple. Uh, and then gold. Yeah, epic. Yeah, 
And um, these dudes are rocking top tier gear, murderizing mm-hmm. like no questions asked, out there looking tactical like they created the game. And I'm just sitting here like, what the hell? Oh, and they need to fix the sniper rifle. They need to add an auto mode because they got a um, they got a turret, a sniper rifle turret, which is very powerful and it's very dope. But the only issue is you have at least from what I know, because you know me, I don't read directions. I had to aim at people and press uh, left bumper in order to get it to take the shot. Oh, okay. So it's I like want, you, you I have want, to find the target. Yes, uh-huh. I want my sniper to take the closest nearest shot. If I if I want to have the option, okay, make make it an upgrade. Make it something I gotta work for. I'm down for that. Oh, and that's the positive. They added a heavy RPG factor. You can't even meet. I think you don't even immediately start off with the um, dual uh, main weapons. Okay. You have to unlock the ability to do, to, to, use to carry two main weapons. Yeah. Because in this most games you get a main and a side. Well, this game you get a two mains and a side. Yeah. Um. But dude, it, it had some positives. The audio was trash. Yeah, um, heard he heard that. And audio regardless, garbage. we have to keep in mind that it, it was a beta. Yeah, and that's so, why I wasn't too mad. <clears throat> a whole but, month before the game comes out. Yeah, audio was complete. I mean, anytime more than three people were shooting or like a really big loud gun was shoot was going off, it would either the audio would cut. Or it would sound like it's got it's about to give out. Mm-hmm. Um, it would sound like Task Killer is on the way for it. <laughs> um, what else was a big issue? Graphics loading in, um, potato mode happening, yeah. um, potato mode audio. Um, s- there's no sliding. There's no sliding. Oh, you can't slide. Could you slide in the last one? I I I don't, I don't know, remember. but I. Can- I can't slide the cover, which feels really weird because I'm so used to doing it in every game I play. Yeah. And going I, to do it and not being able to is really strange. But then, like, you, you got to you also think about, like, I don't remember if you were able to slide in the first one. But I, I remember saying, and I, I watched a couple videos. We even talked about this before we started the podcast on how some people felt the movement was a little clunky. The it was movement very in the first one was clunky as well. I felt that because um it didn't obviously it's not a on console it's not a 60 frame per second game. So True. it feels like that. Now when you're sitting there, you know, you're trying to move and it just feels like it's swaying and then you got to up your sensitivity and then your sensitivity is too fast now you're overshooting. It um it becomes a pain. So you have to find that sweet spot. I feel like with games like that, I always say to myself, give it time. Yeah. Like, give it time, start off on a low sensitivity, then figure it out. But the movement, the movement in the division one, I, I said this before, it felt clunky. It felt heavy. Like I got a big ass backpack on and I'm just trotting. That's what it felt like. I'm okay with that. Because of, I, I'm okay with that with this game. For one, because it's, th- it's third person, right? So your field of view is massive. For two, is because of the abilities and all of the, the equipment that you have, weapons you have, the abilities to make certain builds, to be a tank, to be a healer, to be your main yeah. DPS. It, you can, you can, you'll figure that out. The movement, you'll figure that out because everybody's sure. moving the exact same. Sure. Um, I'm okay with that. If the gameplay aspect and the gunplay aspect of it is f- perfect, I won't even complain. You know, we'll figure out the whole movement stuff. Go, go to bed. One thing, one thing that feels right is the fact that shotguns do the damage that I feel a shotgun should do. Okay. And sniper rifles do the damage I feel they should do. Okay. Um, and I, it felt it didn't feel bad. And if I got one shot it by somebody with a two thousand damage per shot sniper rifle, mm-hmm. I'm not mad. Yeah, but dude, uh, you, you got to remember because in the division one, enemies were just bullet sponges. It literally yeah. you was just letting off and letting off, yeah. letting off and reloading, letting off. Oh, I ran out of ammo. Throw me a kit. Letting off again. Letting off. Switching weapons. Letting off. It was horrible. 
It was that was a horrible experience because even if you max yourself out to do two times damage whenever you target or you mark an enemy and you're doing the two times damage but you ain't doing shit. You you're not doing anything. It's it was a horrible experience. But for the division two, um it's like I said, it's supposed to have eight player raids. We'll we'll wait to confirm that and when the game comes out. It's supposed to have a true end game. Division one did not have a true game, so that's a plus. And then it, it's the true end game is a well, this is all speculation. It's supposed to reward end game type rewards. So you have the ability outside of going to the dark zone, or outside of going to PvP, doing the skirmish, or outside of doing whatever you may have to do to get epic stuff, just by completing end game activities, whether it's by yourself or with the team, you can get your um, end game uh, type rewards. And then last but not least, I, we did touch on it a little bit. They're going to have a 4v4 mode. They're going to mm. have a skirmish or quick play type mode where four of us can go in and be, and play against four other people online and be able to use our abilities and use our weapons and use our loadouts against these other people. That's something that the Division One did not have, and that brings a whole nother aspect to the game. Oh yeah, because that's the PvP side of it now. And and what's so crazy about PvP outside of the dark zone and a structured area? What maps are you going to use? Yeah. Are you gonna? Is it gonna be in the world that exists already, and y'all just go to a different server? Yeah, like. Like, hey, here's a PvP server, and they just like lock out it some just, of the map. They like, yeah, out and of it the just map. loads you in there. Yeah, um, that would that wouldn't be bad. I'm actually tripping out, and personally, when it comes to that, I would actually want people with your if my gun is stronger than yours, DPS wise, I feel I should have that one up to you. Yeah. Get good. Yeah, and that, that and but that's also see that's the RPG factor of it too, you know. Um, or I'm sorry, not not the RPG. That's the RNG factor of it. Uh -huh. And uh, the the thing with RNG is if I'm if I just don't got the luck, I will never win. So that can be an issue as well. So I think there has to be some type of tuning with that. It has to be some type of like like some type of static damage for specific types of weapons but like your abilities your precision damage your preci your anything that your gear awards you to your weapon shouldn't be taken out because if a person jumps in and they ha weren't as lucky enough as you to get this sniper rifle or submachine gun or whatever the case may be now like we talked about we're playing the catch up game now yeah. I ain't playing skirmish. I'm not playing quick play until I, I already this game. know. And I ain't trying to be sitting here getting destroyed because I don't have this one gun. So that that is a horrible experience. Some people we have ex I've experienced that in other games, but with this, the Division Two, Ubisoft and Massive, they have um, an opportunity here to create something that is uh, that's. To create a whole new experience from the Division One, I hope that they just listen to their community. Because I wouldn't even assume that I, I wouldn't even say I'm, I'm a part of that community because I, I left the game. Yeah, one hundred percent walked away from that game. Yeah, I, I ran from the game. Uh, mm -hmm. So I would hope that they would um, take the opportunity to listen to the community, listen to the head guys, listen to the big guys that play, have been playing your game since release, and. Um, make the adjustments needed because if you don't, the same thing's going to happen. Everybody's going to leave the division two to go play apex predator. As we're talking about, go back mm -hmm. to Fortnite, go back to all of these other games. It's a, sh it's a shit ton of RPG yeah. games coming out. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, yeah. it's going to be a horrible year, dog. I'm not bro. even, I'm not even playing Anthem. I'm telling you that from now. Hey, you know, a real talk, bro. Knowing how close the division it comes out to Anthem, mm -hmm. and I've played both. Yeah, I've played Anthem and I've played the division. 
I can see myself playing more of the division. Me too. That's and, my and exact same. Uh, like idea. I just just off top. Even even watching people play Anthem, I'm like, I think I'd rather play the division. The division. Yep, that's my uh, perspective on it as well. And I, I think it's more more of, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll pick up Anthem when it goes on sale. Like, yeah, maybe not. it gets. But it, it just, I for, if head to head, if I only had enough to buy one, I'd. I'd buy the division two. Yeah, I may. You and, know what? I, the reason why is because I had fun with the division one. Mm -hmm. We put a lot of time into it up until their first major update. I played the living crap out of the division. We were in there looking for vectors. Remember, we were rolling gold vectors over and over. Yeah, we were, like we were in it. We were really in it. And then that update came. They changed all the currencies. It took double what it used to to get any of the same resources. And then there were people who sat at home all day and played versus us who could and only get in. And... Yeah, you can't keep... There was no keep up. Yeah. There was no catching up. There was no way to do it. Yep. So it took... And once again, the steam came, got out of it. It was no longer fun. Exactly. Um. So, so in saying that... I um, but yeah, I would definitely rather play the division two, as long as they keep us in mind, as long as they keep the ten to fifteen hour guys in mind, that game will be great. Yeah, uh, I'm not, and I, I don't know uh, Ubisoft's idea for the division two. I I'm I don't I haven't followed them enough to, you know, to uh, or I I mean I follow them, but I haven't paid attention enough to figure out like their their vision. For the division two, um, I hope it is like a. I hope it's not like a. Oh yeah, a two year lifespan and then on to the next one, uh, you know, two year lifespan and then on to the next one. I I really hope they adopt this idea of having the game running the life cycle of this game into the dirt before they decide to yeah. go out and make another one because you gotta think about it. It's from the way they've been talking about the division two. Um, on like mainstream inside of Game Informer, I did read the article and then Game Informer, and then based off of like what our favor, some of my favorite YouTubers have talked about it. The amount of things that in this game, the amount of builds, the amount of perfect items that you want to obtain, it's so much in that realm that. You're not going to want to. You're not going to finish everything in a year. Yeah. You're not going to be able to complete everything within, you know, hell. And especially if you don't play eight hours a day, you most definitely ain't going to be able to finish everything in within two years. I would say. So, I hope that they they keep that in mind and they decide to to create something bigger than just all right well you know it's about that time to come create an old new ip a whole new game gotta gotta satisfy our you know gotta make that quota. gotta make the money yeah so um and and that's you know that's something for all developers and um i really i really hope i want them to win there's games there's a lot of most game companies i really do want to see win because all that does is further the further the playing ground. Yeah. Like I feel like this last generation really took a hit outside of PlayStation. I'm mainly talking about Xbox. I think they took a major hit in terms of advancing the world of game. Mm -hmm. Um uh maybe they had some more hardware stuff like the that uh the game pad for people with disabilities. I think that was dope. Okay. Gr dope movement. Buying up all these different companies that have made small games that are amazing, dope genius. Um, even picking up Obsidian, dope genius. You know, they're making big moves, yeah. But you gave us no exclusives. Our Dang. one exclusive, and when I say ex okay, for uh, Forza, um. Halo and Gears of War. Yeah. You gave us that. Okay. But I'm talking outside of that. Where's the where's the scale bounds? Where's the 
Um, where's the Uncharted? Where's the Horizon Zero Dawn? Where's yeah. the? And those are Sony games. Yep. Now, I, I as an Xbox owner, I felt like Microsoft didn't put didn't push the envelope and didn't didn't advance the gaming world, which I always feel that should be the goal for every console is what can we do to make things better? And I think the big reset also came with uh, the way that all these, uh, speaking on the positives, I guess, which is odd to say, on um, speaking on what microtransactions can do, how games, those free-to-play games completely changed the way we look at gaming. Yeah. Think, think about, remember, okay, let's go back, what, almost a decade, Can It Run Crisis? Like, can your can your system run Crisis? Yeah, you Crisis looks better than most of the games that are out right now. It, hey, <laughs> Crisis running on Ultra or on Max settings looks better than most games that came out in the last two years. Yeah, I won't even argue with you. <laughs> no question about it. No doubt, I'll fight anybody about it. Show me that I got receipts. Like, <laughs> I got receipts. <laughs> hey, no, that's that's when I mean, why, why, ha, where's the giant progression? Yeah. And I, I feel like I'm rambling now, but I mean, but it's a well, it's a well thought out argument. I, I don't really, I just, I understand exactly where you're coming from with that because it's, it's, I, I don't want the industry to become lazy. That's what I'm. That thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I couldn't figure out the most simple way to say it. Yeah, I, I almost want, feel like that's what happened this generation. Yeah, it. I mean, it did. I mean, uh, I, look at this. The perfect uh, another example for this is uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. Mm-hmm. Where is that game at? Oh, you know, if I'm not mistaken, um, and this might be news that needs to be confirmed. But they got lawsuits that are stopping them. Oh, really? Okay, so um, yeah. And I want to say a lot. Yeah, because uh, I just thought about that game as you got to talking. Because I'm like, damn, I don't see nothing else. They they, listen. (laughs) Rockstar is a funny company. They dropped. They dropped Red Dead Redemption Two, and then literally the same week they dropped Red Dead Redemption Two, they dropped a update for Grand Theft Auto Online. A huge one. Really? That's what we're doing? This is reported by um, IGN. Take-Two Interactive, publisher of Red Dead Redemption 2, is in a legal battle with security company Pinkertons over the use of character Andrew Milton and Edgar Ross, two Pinkertons featured in Rockstar's latest title. Um, The Pinkerton... uh, the Pinkertons appreciated Rockstar's clear affection for Pinkerton, but felt the developer was creating a false impression that the game was made by or connected with Pinkerton, which it's not, and it's demanding take to pay either a lump sum or ongoing royalties. Mm. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, when any lawsuits like this go down, they you got to kind of halt. Hey, you got to yeah. halt everything. They have to. Yeah. They have um, to. And that's just... So knowing Shout out that IGN for the information. Yeah, oh yeah. Um so knowing that dude. Here it is. So now you got an online mode that's stuck in beta. But they're still you know selling what? microtransactions for. No, use Fortnite as the example. Oh, Fortnite yeah, is still man. early access. <laughs> it's an early access and it's over here having full tournaments. <laughs> Fortnite. Yeah, well, PUBG, PUBG barely came out of early access. What last Christmas? I don't even know if they're still out. If they're no, out of early no, if access, the full release came out. I want to say last E three. It they announced like that Christmas it would be the full release. Okay, so yeah. the game is officially out for PUBG. Yeah, <laughs> in battle royale, why why would you even sign on to say or do a full release? Why? But guess what? When they do, it's probably going to be like the five year anniversary. <laughs> and then it's gonna come with a disc, and you can only if you, you buy the hard copy, copy now. Yeah, if you buy the physical copy, it comes with like skins that you can't get unless you buy the physical copy. Yeah, yeah. So they're gonna go and force everybody who already owns the free version to buy the game to again. Go out and buy it. Yep. 
Oh, genius. Dude, that's being marketing. I'd be evil. Pe- people would hate Epic. I can't Epic. wait to sell out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Like, I got y'all. Like, oh, you gamers, huh? Yeah, you, oh, you a gamer now, huh? Oh, okay. Get these microtransactions. Yeah. Don't you want your character to have fingers? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Well, you can have legs if you pay the extra $5. Hey. Microtransactions. I, hey, full circle, dog. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not really. I'm going to have to rethink my. After that beginning conversation, I'm going to have to rethink my ideas on microtransactions. <laughs> well, let me let me tell you. People need a reason to go forward. Like, I think the U.S. is going back to the moon full force because China was out there trying to grow cotton. It died, but they, they tried. So now, as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, we're going to go back to the moon. We're going to be back. up there with a Starbucks. Yeah. We're going back. We're going back. We're going to plant a Starbucks up there and a McDonald's, and we're going to be set. <laughs> because there's a reason. So if you could show, hey, we'll make the game free, you'll get more people to play which increases your chances of people spending money. So yeah, you're not going to sell a million copies and get that $60 million. But you're potentially going to get 100 in the same time frame because people are willing to spend money to for cosmetics. Yeah. For boost packs, for special events, for whatever. People are the proof is in the pudding. So I'm actually I, I I it'll it'll grow, but I'm scared. It's scary. I mean, we'll see, man. We will see. We'll see because we're close. Yeah, I, I feel like we're close. So at that point, we just gotta wait and see, man. So. And then and then okay, let's. I know we've talked about it before. And we're starting to hit that that mark, but look at look at what our top ten games have been for the last five years: Grand Theft Auto, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, Fortnite, um, and then whatever. Top ten? And, and, how in uh, as people just overall sales? Oh, well, yeah, you'd have to. Throw <laughs> in, you'd have to throw in. Okay, so Fortnite. Um, Fortnite. Grand Theft Auto, Elder Scrolls, Destiny One and Two, Destiny One and Two, because they both within the last five years. Like these are games. So games as a service has officially taken over consoles. But, but wait, hold up. Okay, as in, do free to play games count? As games as a service, I would say yeah. I don't know, the- man. My heart hurts. <laughs> Because because we have to look at the reality. Let's let we have to really buckle down and look at what we're experiencing and what we're dealing with. So okay, Minecraft, Grand Theft That's Auto Five, one. yeah, yeah. These but I are no man. Hey, it's what's so scary about this is, I okay. Think about what we grew up doing. We grew up with Metal Gear Solid. We grew up with uh, Dragon Age Origins, um, the original Elder Scrolls. Um, we, I'm trying to think of like fresh experience. NBA Street. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what was it? NFL Street. Um, I'm trying to just think of different titles that came out that changed how we look at games. Uh, Okami. Like... We could just go back and forth about different titles. Yeah. I feel like we don't get that same level from the big companies anymore. Of course not. No. Because you don't have to. Mm-hmm. There's just no there's no there's driving no push for to it. do it anymore. There you go. That's why our favorite games come from small developers who are in early access. Mm-hmm. Hey. Shout out Epic. <laughs> Shout out respawn. Even though respawn isn't isn't there an epic and epic isn't small anymore yeah. either. Or but I don't see, think they epic, ever really were small. Epic was small before. Well, no, 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 no. Oh, no, they weren't. Small, yeah. And uh, respawn was a full fledged development yeah. company. Yeah. Right out of the gate because they had the experience with, 
and they won that lawsuit with uh, Activision. So, bro, I don't, I don't know, man. My heart hurts. I don't know what to think about anymore. I know it's real sad, huh? My, my brain gotta, is, is literally gotta, shut down. <laughs> I got a bad habit of like thinking further than I probably should. Yeah, be. maybe you should slow your ass down. Yeah, I need to just go sit out somewhere. Can you just play a game, sir? Yeah, please. Can you? And, and then, like, don't even let me ask you to. Don't even let me ask the question. I'm gonna put this out there for people. I want you guys to go into your catalog, to your backlog, to your game list, to your downloaded or installed games, and see how many games you bought that are either the fifth installment of that title or a remaster. Uh oh. <laughs> don't do it don't do fifth, it fifth, fifth or more installment which means 2k19 uh your mad your call of duties so better yet an easier question would be show me how many original ips or initial property uh intellectual properties that you have yeah see i'm good i'm looking i'm looking down for me i don't want to play this game yeah, it's sad. It's really depressing. I got Horizon Zero Dawn. I have No Man's Sky. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, you beat that? Dying. Yeah, I beat Kingdom Come Deliverance. Dying Light. Uh, yeah. That's a lot. I, I don't want to play this game with you. It's depressing, bro. Yeah, Most people play the same ver a new version of the same game. Every I don't year. want to play this game, bro. I know. I just made this really sad. I'm sorry, yeah, folks. Did, this is know. how I think, though. This is this is what goes through my like. I'll sit back with my wife and just be like, "Oh, hey, the, like this is what goes on, bro." It, you're, you're, yeah, you need to stop. I'm sorry. You're, you're a fun sucker. You're sucking all the fun. I we gotta ask ourselves the hard question, people. We know. demand new. We want new. Listen, we wa I'm done with you and your new. I'm <laughs> over it. Speaking on that, so let's just, because we got a few minutes left, let's just jump through all the little rumors I heard. So this is rumor time. I feel like we should add in like, like, like a base. soundboard. And <laughs> it's me saying, <laughs> rumor time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Like what, what you want to start with? Okay, so supposedly from a positive source, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is supposed to be coming to Nintendo Switch. I have to ask you, what's this positive source? Uh, well, positive source, my bad. Um, Not positive source. What's the word I'm looking for? Reliable, Reliable. credible source. Um, I don't know who the hell it is. You're a gamer? I Ah, I think that's what gamer, you sent me. Gamer, oh, did I send you Eurogamer? Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Eurogamer, um, but they're spe they're speculating it's gonna happen. Oh wait, no, then, I don't know. This is the wrong. Oh, that's the wrong e link. That's another one. That's another one of the things you were, you wanted to talk about. Okay, I'll jump on that in a second. Gamer but, rant was gamer that? rant. Yeah, yeah, and they were because. I think it's going to happen because Sony is actually really good for taking on great... I mean, Sony. Uh, Nintendo Switch is actually really good at taking on games that did well on consoles and taking it to their handheld slash console. A.K.A. Uh, not working, being not, lazy. Not. <laughs> and, and I'm a sucker for this because I already know I'm going to buy it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to buy the Witcher 3. I'm, I'm going to do it. it. I already got it on um, PC. I yeah. got PlayStation and Xbox. I I'm might gonna, as well complete it. I might as well complete the quadrilateral. The full circle. <laughs> full, yes, you can get this. And you know they're going to charge full price, too. That's the oh, dirty part. Yeah, yeah they're going to hit me for the whole kablammy. But <laughs> the kablammy. The kablammy. They're going to hit me with the blunderbuss. Now, the next one that's bothered me to no end, but I'm probably going to suck her up and buy it, too, if it's real. Scalebound. Scalebound. So, Scalebound was supposed to be a major Xbox One exclusive. It was supposed to be one of the console-selling games like Crackdown 3, Halo, and Gears of War. It was supposed to be one of those. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, go pick up this because 
oh, I bought an Xbox so I can play Scalebound. Like that that's what type of game it was. Developed by Platinum Games. Yes. From 2013 until its cancellation in 2017. This game is yes. scheduled to be released for Xbox One and Microsoft Windows with Microsoft Studios publishing the title. Yes. Damn. Now, now there's a source, a fairly credible source, according to Alana Pierce, that it's on its way back and it's going to be for Switch. Now... I the way I think I'm thinking about the gameplay videos for that game when they when it first was announced, I could see it being played on the Switch. Yeah. It it knowing having a Switch in my hand, playing different games on there, I could totally see the world of scale bound mm-hmm. based on the gameplay and images and video and and other stuff I've seen for it in the past. I could totally see it being broken down for Switch. I gotta get the Switch. Um, you're gonna be kind of mad at yourself. Let me let me speak. I just, to, I just wanted to put it on my desk and use it as a kickstand. Okay, then you're good. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself, buddy. You'll be fine. Yeah, you'll do great. Now, before I ramble on too much, I think we need to shout some people out. Um, Tone Deaf Network. Tone much up. love you guys. Thank you for being so patient with us. Tone and up. thank you for shooting our information out into the ether, into the universe. Um, and then much love to all the groups that help us out. Streamers hide out. Survive with us. And then um, shout out to myself. No. <laughs> 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 Who said that? Who, who did Cardi, that? Cardi B what? said, shout out to my haters because you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you don't see it. Shout out Cardi B. Oh, thank She's you, Cardi. She's for the B. culture. Literally for a daughter cult. No, but um, <laughs> thank you because I I'm not gonna lie. I'm ratchet at heart. Mm-hmm. Um, people make fun of me because I, you'll you'll go from like classical music, not even classic hip hop. It'll legit be like some classical Beethoven or something. You're and just a well rounded person. I sure. I think I'm ratchet. Um, no, well, I, I, I said well rounded because you can really turn from oh yeah ratchetness to oh yeah financial views on how to save money. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go blow a check. <laughs> <laughs> you have you have good qualities everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you know I know how to live, man. We gotta live life. He but said, no. "Let's go blow a check, son." Yeah. Let's oh go. man. But no, for real though, I, I'm I love seeing ratchet stuff go down and be widely accepted because then you realize it's not so foreign anymore. Exactly. It's not, it's not such a foreign thing to see somebody just have complete fun and not care about what other people are saying or thinking about them. They just having fun. And there's other people who are enjoying them having fun and making that money. Exactly. Period. You know, um, and yeah, I mean, I've seen Party B pregnant twerking at Coachella. So anybody willing to go that hard. (laughs) Cardi B gets all the support from me. Oh, yeah, all the support. I wish I could do that. Is that how you do it? Whatever. I can't do that yeah, I, uh, I try. Bird, bird call. Bird call. <laughs> bird call. All right. That, okay. Listen, we rambling. Yeah, we're rambling. All right, guys. Uh, I'm Baron J67. Check out T. all Jones. the links below. All the links will be. Oh, you know what, bro? You ain't send me that that link. Oh, bro. my bad, man. Oh yeah, nerds noir. Nerds Go buy noir. Stuff. Link Go will buy be at the stuff. top of the description. Once Yo. again, thank you, Tone. Appreciate you, bro. All right, man. Peace. Peace.